guys, and welcome back. On this week's show, we're putting a wooden arrow through a glass bottle. Well now, truth be told, this is actually my wife's project, not mine. She asked if I would be able to help her with it, and I said, of course. So on today's show, I am nothing more than your friendly neighborhood narrator, while my wife will do the actual work of making the project. So let's start off with what we have to do, or what we have to prepare to make an arrow through a glass bottle. Well, this is the bottle that she has chosen to place the arrow through. And the first thing we need to do is we need to drill a hole on each side of our bottle. Well, this is glass. How do you drill glass? Well, we have these uh, vacuum brazed diamond drills. And I got these off of Amazon. I haven't used them yet, so we're going to see how they work out. But what we need to do is use these drill bits. We're going to use the largest one here, which is a 9 16 diameter hole. And we're going to drill the holes in our bottle. The problem is, is that it's a little difficult to hold the bottle. So we need to make a jig to hold this. Well, I've taken measurements of the top of the bottle and the bottom of the bottle. And the top is one and nine sixty-fourths, while the bottom is two and a half. And I have some scrap three quarter inch pine here. Now I'm just gonna place the bottle so that there's about a quarter of an inch extended beyond the bottom of the bottle. And I'm just going to roughly, and I mean roughly, it doesn't have to be exact. I'm just gonna mark roughly the center of the bottle and we'll square that off. Once we get this done, somewhere in the middle here, you can measure, this is four inches wide. So at two inches, we're going to use a compass and draw a two and a half inch diameter circle. Well, I've now cut this off over at the table saw um, right at the center mark for this two and a half diameter circle. And we're going to cut this over at the scroll saw. Now guys, not everyone is as experienced on the scroll saw and my wife is one of these people. So for that reason, you're going to see something here that you don't see very often on the show and that will be the hold down foot of the scroll saw. If you have someone who is inexperienced at using the saw, that hold down foot goes a long way to helping them with their control and helps them to concentrate more on their cutting rather than holding their piece to the table. So let's get this cut and then we can move on. So with that half circle cut out, you can apply a little bit of glue and what we have is a piece of 3 8 thick plywood that is cut to the same length as what the bottle is tall and it is cut four inches wide to match our hold down brackets. So all you want to do guys is apply a little bit of glue and glue this bracket, this pine bracket at the end of the plywood and then we're just going to shoot a couple of pin nails into it just to help hold it in place. Well, now that the larger bracket of the two is mounted onto your piece of ply, you just want to sit your bottle into the bracket and with another piece of four inch wide pine clamped onto your base, we're just going to line up the bottle so that it is pretty much level and then roughly, as close as you can, it doesn't have to be perfect, mark the center of the bottle from the plywood base up to the middle of the neck of the bottle. With that little line marked, you can now use a square to place a square line across your board. And in the middle of your four inch board, we will draw our one and nine sixty fourths diameter hole. Once we get that drawn, we can cut it out at the scroll saw. So you now want to apply a little bit of glue and glue and nail this to the opposite end of your plywood. And when you get it all glued and nailed, you should have a jig that looks something like this. Well, this is how your bottle will sit in the jig when you're drilling your hole. And as I said, I have these diamond bits and you need lubrication with this, guys. You want to drop the speed of your drill press down. I'm going to start off at about 350 RPM and just see how it goes. 
and you want lubrication. So you could use water, which works really well, but the best way here to go about this is to fill a tub, believe it or not, of water and submerge this bottle. Once we get it submerged and lined up how we want it over at the drill press, we're going to slowly drill through one side of our bottle. Once we get that hole drilled through, we will rotate it 180 degrees to drill a hole on the opposite end that will line up with it. Now you may note that I am using electrical tape to hold the bottle in place. Guys, that is just a precaution uh, to keep the bottle from spinning. At this point, you can remove any of this paint that you don't want on your bottle uh, with a little bit of acetone and some cotton swabs. So clean up the bottle, take off any of the paint that you don't want on there, and then it's time to make our arrow. So we've tested putting some stock through the holes in our bottle and found that we need a shaft on the arrow about 3 8 by 3 8 of an inch. So on some 3 8 thick stock, pine in this case, we've drawn out some arrows and we will just cut them out at the scroll saw as best we can. You now want to give your arrow a good sanding front and back and get any of the burring off from cutting it at the scroll saw. And at this point, you're going to need a little bit of boiling water. So at this point, you want to bring a pot of water to a boil and insert the arrowhead part of your arrow into the water and boil it for 10 minutes. Once you get that done, you can use a vise to compress the end of the arrow, compressing the arrowhead until it is the same diameter or smaller than the shaft of the arrow, which in this case is 3 8 by 3 8. So at this point, leave this overnight to let that dry out and retain the shape. Well, we've left the arrow overnight, and at this point now you want to unclamp it and place it through your bottle. Once you get it through, we're gonna take it back inside to our boiling water. So bring another pot of water to a boil and allow your bottle to sit over top of the pot with the tip of your arrow or your arrowhead in the water. Boil that for 10 minutes to allow the arrow to regain its shape. And once you've had it in the boiling water for 10 minutes, you can remove it and, well, this is pretty much what you end up with. And there you have it. A wooden arrow through a bottle. Guys, this is a fun project and it's really kind of neat the way it works. The way that the steam and the heat absorbs into that pine so much that you can compress the wood as much as you uh, have to to get it through the bottle. And then afterwards, the way that you can put it back into that boiling water and it springs back to where it was. This is a great project to get the young ones involved. Um, it's almost like a science experiment and you can teach them about expansion and contraction. This is one of those projects where although it doesn't look like much, you're going to find people looking at it saying, how did you do that? That is so cool. How did you do that? And unless they know the whole trick of soaking the wood and compressing it, getting it through the hole and then boiling it again to allow it to expand, they may be puzzled. They'll think you glued it together. They'll think it's multiple pieces, that sort of thing. But we all know it's one piece of wood. Now, here is the thing. You're gonna have to sand it once you finish that final uh, steaming sort of thing. Just give it a very light sanding to take any of the grain raising out of there. But as well, in that last clip, you may have noticed that I wrapped some silicone trivets around the bottle and held them in place with an elastic band. Now, while I didn't think it was really necessary, my wife was concerned about superheating the bottle with the edges of the pot that gets extremely hot due to the burner. So to play things safe, she wanted those silicone trivets wrapped around and attached. And you know what? She's not wrong. In any project, whether it be something simple like this or whether it be a more extravagant project and something more involved, if something doesn't feel right, 
then don't do it. Change your method until it feels right. And if all it takes to make you feel better about putting that bottle in the um, on the edges of the pot to bring your arrow back to its initial shape, if all it takes is a couple of silicone trivets and it makes you feel better about what you're doing, instantly you have improved your methods. So there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing about wrong with thinking outside the box and changing things up so that you're comfortable with what's happening. So with those silicone trivets, she no longer worried about the overheating of the bottle and of the bottle breaking, and she was very comfortable to sit it there and work with it. Either way, guys, this is a really fun project. Uh, it's kind of a conversational piece. It may not be for everybody, but you know what? If it's for you, I hope you give it a try. And guys, I wanna thank you so much for tuning in this week. If you haven't already, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. You click the bell and then you're not going to miss the notifications of future episodes of the program. Guys, I'm going to put the link below to the diamond bits that I used in today's video. Uh, if you're interested in those, you can check it out. Or if you have a source for a different set of diamond bits, by all means, give it a whirl. Guys, I want to thank you so much for tuning in this week. I hope you've enjoyed today's content. I hope you're going to try this one for yourself because it really is kind of cool the way it works. Even I was impressed. And more importantly, guys, I hope you're going to join me again next week when I bring you yet another Alternative Tuesdays. Yeah, right about there. So you pull the first trigger. I already did. Yeah, and then pull the second. Woo! Well, you hardly have to touch it. Yep. Does the bottle still fit? Uh, at this paint, this paint, this paint in time you want to wash the point off. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I'm just trying to help. Yeah, I know. <laughs> You're helping, all right. <laughs> Okay, very nice. Now take it out. Oh, really? I can't use that. Now you gotta do it over again. <laughs> <laughs> ah.